ordinary horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Ohio Silver, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> With his faithful Indian companion, Toto, the masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness have come down to us through the generations. And nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. Let's go, big fellow. Are you silver? Away! It was almost sundown when the Lone Ranger and Tonto reached Sun Canyon on their way to Kingsville. As they urged their mounts along the hard-packed trail, they were startled by the sharp and echoing crack of a rifle shot. Oh, 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 oh. What direction did that shot come from, Tonto? Would you tell? Ah, thick brush over the river. I think you're right, but it may have been... Listen. Somebody... Somebody ride plenty past. We trail him? Not yet. The first thing we'll do is... Look, a horse with an empty saddle breaking through that brush. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. Oh, oh, It's a buckskin mare, Tonto. And I've seen her someplace before. Ah. I think it was... You hear that? Somebody on the other side of this brush. Come on. There, man. Looked like him hurt bad. Yes, it's... Now I know who that mare belongs to. Tom Classen. And this is Tom. Easy now. Who shot you, Tom? Dry gulched. I don't know for sure who did it. Easy, Tom. You've got a nasty wound on your side. I know what it means. Give me your handkerchief, Tom. I'll make a bandage for that. <laughs> Not enough time. Got to tell what you. What is it, Tom? This funny thing you find in me. I was on my way to find you. I got a letter from Milo Brent three days ago, and Tonto and I were heading for Kingsville. Milo sent me to meet you. I'm his deputy. Is Sheriff Brent in trouble? Oh, plenty. Whole town's in trouble. Where's the sheriff now? He's flat on his back at Pod Jarrett's boarding house. They got him first. Does he know who did it? If the sheriff's up against a gang of killers, I can't understand why he sent you out of town. Oh, him. get there some way. He'll explain. You see, Milo Brandt's not sheriff at Kingsville anymore. I'm not really his deputy, but he... Easy, Tom. I'm glad I found you before they took my star away. It's been right here, under my vest. You take it. Yes, I'll take care of your star, Tom. Thanks. At least I'm... Leaving the real law in good hands. I. I uh, He's dead, Tonto. Ah. Uh, it's murder. And I'm going to find out who did it if it's the last thing I ever do. Ah. Uh, you bring Tom's body into town, Tonto. I'm going on ahead. Here, Silver. Why him say Lawman Brent not sheriff anymore? Silly Silver. I don't know, Kimasabi. That's why I'm heading straight for Paul Jarrett's boarding house. You follow as soon as you can. Ah. Come on, Silver. Oh, oh, Silver. Ready, fella. Get away from here, Kruger. I've got a scattered gun in my hand. If you open that door, I'll blow your head off. Paul Jarrett. You heard me. I've come to see Sheriff Brent. Mass. Well, if you think that's going to fool me, Kruger, My name's not Kruger. I want to see Sheriff Brent. Where is he? Upstairs, sick. Too sick to palaver with any free booting outlaw who's got... He sent for me. Please take me to him. No, I ain't letting any strangers bother Milo when he's... Hey, now, stop edging toward those stairs and get them hands up. Very well. Now, why don't you turn me over to the sheriff? At least ask his advice. Well, that ain't such a bad idea. Now, keep reaching and march upstairs. Remember, I'm right behind you with a double barrel shotgun. Good. March! Very well. That door. 
On the right. It ain't locked. Open it. All right. Oh, what the Hello, time? Sheriff. This masked fireman pushed in his way in the house. Like as not, he's one of Kruger's men, no, but no, I... No, I... no, he isn't, Pa. He's a friend of mine. I wrote him a letter. Asked him to come and see me. May I put my hands down now? Sure, sure. Paul made a mistake, that's all. Well, how about it, Mr. Jarrett? I'm still under your gun sight. Well, guess it's all right that the sheriff vouches for you. Thanks. But keep on watching that front door, Pa. No telling when Kruger will try another shenanigan. Now, nah, don't worry. Nobody else will get by me. Come on over here by my bed. I can't move around much. So, Tom met you on your way into town. Yes, Tom met us, or rather, Tonto and I met him. I recognized his buckskin mare. Yep, he's still riding, huh? And I promised him I'd bring this directly to you. What the... Oh, that's his deputy star. Tom's badge. Why did you... Tom Classen is dead, Sheriff. No. Shot. Ambushed about 30 minutes ago on the Sun Canyon Trail. How did you... Tonto and I heard the shot, but we didn't see the killers. And Tom was pretty far gone when we reached him. So they got Tom. Must have figured he was going for help, but they wouldn't have Who tried. Who were they? Steve Kruger, Case Martin, or any of that passel of gunslingers they've got working Tom for Tom tried to tell me something about it, but... Who's Kruger? A lawyer here in town, and a loan shark. Most every rancher in the valley owes him money. Case Martin's a gambler at the Bull's Head Saloon. And you're sure they're responsible for Tom's murder? Just as sure as I am that they're the ones who threw this load of buckshot into my back. Oh, why not order one of your deputies to arrest them? I can't. I'm not the sheriff of Kingsville anymore. Oh, who is? Steve Kruger. I don't understand. Neither did I when I wrote you that letter the first of the week. Now it's too late. Tell me about it. Oh, oh, Silver. Oh, boy. Why we stop so close to town? Because I'm going back. Steady, boy. But first, I want you to help me with the disguise. Ah. I may have to use this deputy's badge I'm wearing. There'll be less trouble without the mask. Now, oh, me wait here? Oh, just long enough to make sure no one leaves Kingsville before I get there. I'll circle and come in from the south. Ah. And if you should spot anyone, Kimasabi, trail them. But regardless of what happens, meet me in front of Paul Jarrett's boarding house in about two hours. Ah. Are you ready now? Put on the sky? Yes. Let's get it done as quickly as we can. What are you drinking, cowboy? Nothing. I'm looking for Case Martin. Yeah? Is Case looking for you? Maybe. I guess I didn't catch your name. What is it? I didn't mention it. Where's Martin? Listen, Case Martin don't see just any arm. He'll happened. see me. Hey, put that cutter away. Don't you know it's against the law to pack a gun in this town? And it's probably against the law to shoot bartenders, but oh, I'll... Wait, wait, wait a minute. I'll... You follow me. <laughs> Case, I tried... How many times have I told you now? All right, bartender. I'll handle this. Listen, cowpoke, you can't... Sit down. Busting in here with a gun. I'm a deputy sheriff. You're under arrest. You're wrong, Martin. I'm the one who's making the arrest. You're local. See this badge? It says Deputy Sheriff, King County. Milo Brent gave it to me this afternoon. Brent's not sheriff. Steve Kruger's the law here. That's what he thinks. And suppose you are a tin star deputy. My badge means as much as yours. More, because the law's on my side. I want to know why you and Steve Kruger shot Sheriff Brent and killed Tom Classen. Why, you nosy cowboy. Better not go for that gun. I can shoot first, and I will. All right. You got a cold drop. What do you want? Where's Steve Kruger? How do I know? If you're so smart, you ought to know that. Be... They'll meet the stage. Hey, what's this? We've been waiting for you, Kruger. Case, who, who is this? Some local cowpuncher walked in here, pulled Thanks a gun. Thanks for reminding me. Lay your guns on the table, both of them. Ash and I won't. I do. said lay them on the table. Why, you go on. Good. Now the three of us are going for a walk. He's got masked down. The engine. Same ones were here this afternoon. Drop those guns. I won't do any That's such... what you think. Gun them, Red. Go on, get him. Oh, no. Put your hands, both of you. 
Jumping jumps, Pat. Did you ever see such shooting? Say, uh, stranger, I noticed you were wearing a lawman's badge. You a sheriff or a marshal? Neither one. I'm just Milo Brent's deputy. Well, where are you early. taking these varmints? To the sheriff at Paul Jarrett's boarding house. Get moving, you two. All right. Here they are, Sheriff. The other two parts of Kruger's plan. Well, I'll be... Say, who, who are they? Just two men who tried to steal a gold shipment after Kruger had made it illegal for anyone else to carry a gun in Kingsville. So that was it. You can appoint a deputy to take them to jail. Uh, sure, sure I can. Say, Sheriff, I'd like that job if it's open. Application accepted. Where are Kruger and Case Martin? I've got the barman's hog tied down in the cellar. <laughs> I didn't see it, but Pa must have used a little persuasion on those gents. I used plenty. Is that right? She got them both to sign a confession in black and white. You got it right here. Case Martin admits he killed Tom Classen on orders from Kruger. Good. Then my job is done. Oh, uh, here's the deputy's badge, Sheriff. It's been a privilege to wear it. What? Privilege for you? Say Kingsville owes you a debt it can never pay off. Kingsville owes me nothing as long as the law is in honest hands like yours. Come on, Tonto. Adios, Sheriff. Well, I've seen a lot of things in my time, but I never saw an outlaw wear a law badge before. Who is he, Milo? A real lawman, with or without a badge. He's the Lone Ranger. 